we've been in, a, in the highway construction business for about 90 years. We have been recycling roads for about 30 years. We have been doing a process called hot in place recycling heater scarification, which is a little different than this process you're looking at today. This is the next generation of hot in place recycling that we have termed reheat. This process, unlike heater scarification, is going to put down the final surface course or the wearing course. When this machine is off of this mat or this roadway, it's a finished product. It'll be open to traffic a few minutes after he's done, and that's, that's the finished road. So you have to have the right road, right fix, right time. That's an old saying in our business, and uh, this particular road is getting the right fix at the right time with the reheat process. We're running tandem preheaters here. Uh, they're both equipped with two oven decks. The first oven is going to bring this surface temperature up around 150, 180 degrees. The duplicate oven, which is going to act a little bit more like a Zamboni machine at an ice rink, is going to go up and back slowly to get some heat a little deeper into the pavement, making the, the process units work a little easier. So when he's off the mat, it should be around 275, 280 degrees. There's an additional oven deck on the process unit that will get us up into the 300. 300 is where you want to be. That's where asphalt usually shows up from the plant. You're right behind the fifth oven deck right now. The blades are into the pavement to the specified depth for this project, which happens to be two inches. You're looking at the augers that are transporting the shaved material from the two inch depth over to the center mill. The center mill is going to feed that up into our drum. This is essentially a small asphalt plant going down the road. The material is in the drum. It'll spend 35 or 40 seconds in there where there it gets the proper rejuvenating oil amount, which is what this road is lacking. It'll spew out the back of the drum, be placed across the mat at the correct profile, followed with a screed that places it. We chase this with a roller, and our process is complete. With rising oil prices, which equates to higher asphalt prices, uh, you want to utilize everything that you have. In this case, you have an existing roadway. You have good aggregate that is still good and it has oil on it. So you have to rethink about milling it out and hauling it away. What can we do with it to extend the life of this roadway? So hot in place recycling, from an advantage standpoint, utilizes existing material. The advantages are you don't have milling machines and all the semis and all the traffic and all the lane closures to haul that material away. You don't have the cost or near the cost to bring new material back. Uh, typically you're going to grind out two or three inches and then put two or three inches back. This process here is not going to grind out anything. It's not going to utilize any trucks, any heavy traffic, any dust, any noise uh, that the grinders bring. We're going to process this at a little slower rate than a paving operation, but as I said earlier, when we're finished, the road is finished. From a carbon footprint standpoint, uh, if you take materials from an asphalt plant, put them in trucks, bring them out here, milling machines, so on and so forth, there's a carbon footprint reduction of around 62 or 63 percent this process versus the conventional methodology. So you've got environmentally friendly, you've got some economics involved, typically around 20 to 30 percent less money. You have less intrusion or less uh, uh, traffic interruption. We refer to this equipment as trains, and in a good number of instances, uh, recycling equipment can reflect or look like a train, 250, 300 feet long. There it becomes very cumbersome and difficult to work in cities. This unit here is about 88 feet in length, so it lends itself to working in urban environments and city areas and, and or larger suburbs and so on and so forth. Probably one of the most important advantages of this process versus conventional methodology is the limited user delay. When we're done here, when we get back up over the top of this hill, we'll soon be opening this lane to traffic. Done the conventional way, the traffic control would be in place for a good number of days or weeks uh, with that lane closed. This is lane restriction. When we get out of harm's way, the temperature has cooled on the pavement, it'll be open to traffic. No one else is doing this exact method in the entire country. Um, that's somebody that I want to that I want to hook up with if, if I'm an agency. Who's out there leading the pack and taking a look at, at again this cutting cutting edge technology? Uh, and in this case, it's it's Gallagher. 
This is a relatively new process for us. We actually just took delivery of the machines uh, last season. So the number of, of uh, well, in major metropolitan areas that we have under our belt at this juncture are minimal, but we have a docket quite full for this machine uh, yet this season. In general, as a recycling contractor, we have probably done in excess of 30 million square yards in cities like Indianapolis and St. Louis and now Milwaukee uh, and Chicago. We're pretty particular about the roads we, we select. We want to find the best candidate to perform work on those roads for that agency so that we're invited back the following season. And how do you stay in business for 90 years? You, you perform as promised on time uh, and meet specifications. And Gallagher's approach is to get the right fix for the right road at the right time.